Okay. Are you guys awake? It's 11, 11.30. How are you all feeling? Let me hear you. <laughs> yeah, come on. Let's cheer and clap. We're all here, and it's amazing to be here because can you imagine after two years, we can finally have an event, right? Yay. Cheers to that. Cheers to rules being relaxed. Amazing, amazing. Magandang gabi. Good morning, everyone. Kumusta? My name is Valerie Lim. I'm Miss Universe Singapore 2011 and also the current national director of Miss Universe Singapore. And it's my honor to welcome you here to Madame Tussauds Singapore. I'm very pleased to be able to welcome our guests, partners, media to this special event. Do you all know what we're here for? Yes, come on. Do you know what we're here for? Yes, that's right. I'm very excited to be able to also give a warm welcome to the Philippines Ambassador to Singapore, His Excellency, Mr. Joseph Yap. Thank you for your support and thank you for coming all the way down today. Hello to our fans who are following us on the live stream on the Facebook of Madame Tussaud Singapore. Hello, how are you guys doing? Please leave your comments or questions for Catriona in your comment section. As you all know, ladies and gentlemen, we are here to unveil Madame Tussauds Singapore first and only wax figure of Catriona Gray and to also meet the muse in person. Who's excited? I know I am. Who's excited to meet Kat? Yes. Yeah. Plus, this is also International Women's Month and she is an inspiring person. So what better way to close out the month, right? Well, as you all know, in 2018, Kat catapulted to fame when she was crowned Miss Universe 2018. She is the fourth Filipina to be crowned Miss Universe. And in the last three years since she was crowned, she has likened her, road, her time, to, sorry, she has likened her time to that being on a roller coaster, thanks to COVID. You know, lost time with loved ones, delayed plans, of course, delayed dreams. And I'm sure we can all resonate with that. But there is a silver lining. Because of that, we have her here today in Singapore to unveil her wax figure. Otherwise, she would have done it back in her hometown in Manila in 2020. So I'm super excited. I know you all are. But before we get to seeing the wax figure and meeting Kat in person, I would like to invite Mr. Eric Mark, who is the general manager of Madame Tussauds Singapore, up on stage to share a little bit about working with Catriona and the process. Thank you, Valerie. Hi, Eric. And thank you, everyone, for being here today at Madame Tussauds Singapore for the unveiling of Catriona Gray. Today, actually, we celebrate three significant milestones. The first being, Catriona's figure is the first Filipino figure for Madame Tussauds Singapore. The Filipino community <laughs> has been a strong supporter of tourism in Singapore and to Madame Tussauds globally. The second milestone, this is actually our first side-by-side -side since early 2020, the start of COVID. So it makes it extra special for us to have Catriona here today. <laughs> and finally, of course, the great news that we've received that as of April 1st, Singapore will be welcoming fully vaccinated international travelers to Singapore. Yeah, so yeah. we are looking forward to welcoming our guests globally again. Amazing. And there's so many things that we should be celebrating today. Can you tell us a little bit more about what it was like working with Catriona? Absolutely. I think um, summing it up into three words, Catriona is thoughtful, kind, and inspirational. Amazing. I've had the chance to meet her and I can say I concur. And like I said, it's International Women's Month and what better way to be inspired by her in person. So while I have you here, could you share a little bit more about what it's like to make a wax figure? Absolutely. Specifically for Catriona's figure, one of the questions we were often asked was, would our Catriona figure be wearing the iconic lava gown, which she wore in the 2018 Miss Universe competition. I'm happy to announce that we had worked directly with Mark Tumang, who is the original designer of the lava gown, to create a bespoke 
an individual dress just for Catriona's figure. So we're very proud of that, and we're looking forward to show it to you today. I know, and of course, Kat is known for her lava walk, and I feel like a volcano right now because there's so many emotions running through me right now. And Eric, would you like to do the honors? Absolutely. So without further ado, please put your hands together and join me in welcoming the one, the only, Miss Universe 2018, Catriona Gray. about to I uh, like I said there's just so many emotions going through me right, right now I'm so excited to be here super honored and welcome welcome to Singapore. welcome to Madame Salt Singapore how are you feeling thank you Valerie thank you everyone who took the time out of their day to be here today it means so much to me also being a Filipino warmly welcomed here in Singapore and guys when I say I've been waiting for this launch a long time I really mean it talaga <laughs> Um, it was back in 2019 when the news came that I would be honored with a wax figure at Madame Tussauds. And two and a half years later, we're finally here. So it means so much to me that you're all here to join in this moment with me. Maraming maraming salam and thank you so much. I love you! Indeed, I think the last few years, like you said, have been such a roller coaster ride. And just to have this moment today, to mark so many special moments. It's just overwhelming, right? So, bruh. <laughs> I keep talking in Tagalog so now. Bruh. No, but it is so overwhelming because be us being here today really represents the new normal that's coming about that we're finally able to reconnect, to be in person, to celebrate together, to come together. So this is really, really special. Indeed, it's such a joyous, joyous occasion. And let's get down to it. So how often Oh, how, how, how many times have you been to Singapore and have you been to Madame Tussauds, Singapore? This is my second time only in Singapore. The first time was in the latter of 2021, um, and it was a very quick and short trip. And I've only been here for two days, but I felt very welcomed. My team has been welcomed like a second home. So I'm so grateful um, to be welcomed so warmly and, of course, to be celebrating with you all. This is such a special, special moment for me. And the fact that I get to share it with you all makes it even that much more special. Indeed. So what can you tell us and how do you feel about having a wax figure at Madame Tussauds Singapore? You're the first and only Filipina to have a wax figure here in Madame Tussauds Singapore. It's such an honor. Um, I remember being a little girl at around 12 or 13 years old. I stepped foot into my first Madame Tussauds experience back in, in London, in the UK. And I remember looking up to my idols like Christine Aguilera, uh, Beyonce. And I always had a perception that to be in Madame Tussauds, you had to be an influential historical figure, a president, or an A-list global superstar. And if you would have told 13-year-old me, hey, you're going to have a wax figure of your own one day, I don't know if I would have truly have believed you um, so to be standing here is really quite surreal and I'm so excited for you guys to see her I always refer to her as her or my twin it's weird to call her me but she really looks like me guys but I'll let you guys be the judge of it um, but uh, to be here in Madame Tussauds Singapore as the only Filipino um, it's my hope that when our fellow Kababayans our fellow Filipinos walk through these halls that they feel a sense of pride because that's really the the emotion that I carried on the Miss Universe stage those four or three years ago and and it's really my fondest memory when I look back on that journey I love you guys also um, and also just to represent the Pinoy elevated to the global stage that's really something that brings me so much pride and uh, I just want to say thank you again to Madame Tussauds um, and hopefully in the future there will be more Filipinos uh, represented within the halls of Madame Tussauds. Okay, oh, I think you sell yourself too short. She's a multi-hyphenate talented woman, right? And now there'll be so many little girls looking at your wax figurine and thinking, I want to be just like her. Isn't that right, ladies and gentlemen? So before we actually unveil her, can you tell us what it was like going through the whole process? 
Oh yeah, so when I first got the call, um, I was super excited and I found out that the team uh, from Madame Tussauds UK would fly all the way to New York because this happened in 2019, guys. I was reigning for Miss Universe, so we had a four to six hour measurement session. That's how long it was, but because they're so intricate to the detail in creating these very lifelike wax figures, um, it was a combination of different methods from uh, normal photography from all angles um, to uh, a, a moving camera that captured the 360 perspective um, from measuring with calipers. They had colorists to match skin tone. Very, very um, detailed when it came to even the smallest things. The shoes that my wax figure is wearing are my spare pair of shoes that I brought to compete. Um, she has the same accessories. A beautiful, beautiful, beautiful replica gown, um, lava gown by Mak Tumang, who is the original designer of my lava dress. That when you really see it up close, I'll let you guys be the judge, but I know the lava dress, the original, and on Honestly, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. That is how amazing of a job Mak Tumang did. And that also brings me so much pride because, yes, it is a wax figure of me, but in the dress, in the accessories, um, it was Filipino talent that really allowed me to be at that standard that is so appreciated today. So I wouldn't be here without my team, many whoever, which are here today with me. I love you guys so much. But also the Filipino talent that really me to carry the Philippine sash in such an excellent way. So I really um, lift this honor to my fellow Kababayans, to the Filipino. Amazing. And I think everyone's super, super excited. Right? And I, know, I heard that it's going to be in the film and TV section. Can you tell us about that interactive exhibit? Oh my gosh, the little corner that Madame Tussauds Singapore has given me is so cool, guys. So um, every single wax figure here at Madame Tussauds has an interactive element. And the element of mine is to lava walk with me. So there's a little catwalk, there's a fan for the feeling of the hair, um, and there's a little instructional video that I did back in 2019 to tell you the basics of how to do a lava walk. So please, guys, when you see um, that little segment of Madame Tussauds, please tag me. I would love to see your lava walks. Please, I would love to, that would make me so happy. Um, but yeah, it's a, just a beautiful little corner and I can't wait for you guys to see it. I'm sure you guys want to see the lava walk in person, right? Come on, do oh. you want to see the lava walk in person? Yeah. Ah, well, we will save that for after we unveil the okay, wax Okay, okay, <laughs> lava walk. <laughs> so, shall we unveil the wax figure now? Who wants to see the wax figure of Catriona Gray? Eric, could I have you back on stage for the official unveiling? All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's count down together to unveil. Are you ready? Let's count down all together. Five, four, three, two, one. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, we have the wax figure of Catriona Gray. First, I would like to invite Eric and Catriona to first take a picture with a wax figure. All right, thank you so much, Eric. Now we will leave Catriona to take some pictures with your twin. How do you feel, Kat? Have you ever wanted a twin? I've always wanted a sibling, guys, but I guess I'll take the next best thing. <laughs> I was actually joking with my parents. Hi, mom and dad, if you're watching. I miss you. Um, but my 
dad was like, can I borrow her and bring her to Australia so she could stand in the house for a little while? Um, but guys, when I actually saw her for the first time, can I just say, I was just like stopped in my tracks because it's a really strange sensation to see a replica of yourself. Um, but that's just testament to how amazing a job Madame Tussauds did with my figure. I'm so, so happy. And what I really appreciate too is throughout the whole process, the team would always get in touch with me. Um, even my team, who was a part of my original um, team getting ready for the competition to check um, for any revisions or any thoughts that we had to improve the wax figure. So she signed off by me and Team Catriona. Um, <laughs> And just such an honor, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all being a part of this moment. It's really, really special. It's incredible. It's like having a mirror. And I think if you don't move, I I, I, I'd be like, Kat, Kat where, where'd you go? <laughs> <laughs> I was making a joke. I can leave early and she can take my job. <laughs> can we get an extra mic? for? <laughs> can you share with us the process? I know it took you know, quite a, a long time. And I heard it took like six to nine months to actually go through the entire process. Yeah, some people are asking, so how did we come to decide on her look, her pose? Um, so this was obviously the idea was conceptualized um, mid rain. So there was no farewell look yet. Um, so it was kind of a no brainer, I think, in my mind to have the lava gown because not only was it the winning look, but it also carries so much representation for me. Um, just a little bit of trivia for those who might not know. I know our fellow Filipinos do, but uh, the lava gown was inspired by my mother's hometown in Philippines called Albay, which is the home to the Mount Mayon volcano, a perfect cone shaped volcano. And uh, my mom, when I was younger, had a dream. <laughs> when I was around 12, 13 years old, where my mom, she loved Miss Universe, but at that age, I had no interest in pageants yet. Um, but she had come to me one morning, she was like, sweetie, I had a dream that you were in Miss Universe in a red dress. And I was just like, okay, mom. <laughs> I hadn't, I was just, I brushed it off. But when I earned the right to represent my country of the Philippines nationally, and I was working with Maktumang to come up with the concept for the, the gown, I, I remembered my mom and I said, it has to be red. We can brainstorm any design, but it has to be red. And so that's really the story of the gown. And then the lava walk was a little bit of an Easter egg for the fans. It's, a, it's kind of a fan thing that we do to name the walk of our representatives. And the lava walk really just ties in with the whole look. And that's really the story behind it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And you know what? The detail is incredible. And I love how Madame Tussauds Singapore has captured all that detail. And like you said, the story behind it. You know, now you've heard the story here in person and it's forever immortalized in this wax figure and that's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much for having this wax figure to inspire generations. Yeah. We have a question for the fan, from the fans. So since winning Miss Universe 2018, the fourth Filipina to win, what has the title enabled you to do? Oh, it really allowed me to amplify the work that I so love to do, which is getting involved in the community. Um, you guys know that I'm really passionate about working with others. I know it's a very beauty queen type of answer where it's like, oh, I want to help the world or help others. But really, that is the essence of what this title represented to me as being a Miss Universe. We're not just there to be beautiful or to be in a pretty gown, but it's more we have the platform to then use our voice to, to really be vocal about causes or things that we're really passionate about. And I'm really so grateful for the opportunity to have the platform of Miss Universe. And then going on from that, um, I've continued the work that I do in that kind of realm. So it's been so fulfilling and, and being able to meet my fellow countrymen and, and hear the stories of how they were impacted by my win or just, you know, given that courage or, or bravery to really go after what they wanted life has just been so fulfilling for me and that's really what this title represents you're amazing you truly walk the talk she Thank is a youth you. ambassador arts advocate and this lady like i said so multi-talented and just really an inspiration i remember watching you on the 2018 miss universe stage and of course being inspired by your lava walk and just the advocacy that you had so ladies and gentlemen she walks the talk do you want to see her lava walk I, I don't think I think so. it needs to be a little yeah, bit louder I don't for a lava so. walk, guys. Come on. Who wants to see the lava walk? <laughs> walk. Hey. Lava walk. Lava walk. Lava walk. Let's see if I can out lava walk my twin. <laughs>
amazing, amazing. Who thought that was spectacular? Yes. Amazing. So thank you so much for showing us your lava walk. From today, Kat's wax figure will be officially displayed in the TV and film zone over there with an interactive section. It will be available from now until September 2022. So you can do your lava walk together with Catriona's figure in her new set. Any tips for everyone? Ooh. Well, I think the, the magic of the lava walk is that it was unique to me. Um, because, you know, preparing to be on a stage that so many amazing, empowered women have walked on before, there's really the thought of, like, how do I stand out? So I really had to tell a story, and that was why the look had meaning. Um, but then when it came to the walk itself, I had to take into consideration my body type, what I'm comfor comfortable in, and how I view myself as confident. So when you guys are doing the lava walk, just channel whatever that look is or poses that makes you feel confident or beautiful or fierce, and then just posture, long strides, and strike a pose. That's it. Let's do it. <laughs> I will be definitely taking notes and practicing a little bit more, <laughs> I think. And I'll be waiting for you guys to tag me also in your struts. <laughs> Thank you so much, Catriona. It's been amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our unveiling of the Catriona Gray wax figurine. I thank you all for being here today, for being in this momentous day and time. And we will be doing our first group interview. Um, can I ask, can I please ask everyone to follow our Madame Tussauds ushers? And we will conclude this event. Thank you very much. Just know, just the photo takings will also commence now. Our ushers will be...